So, My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 331 has been released, and let's just say that this was a very action-packed dialogue, potentially explosive chapter, and uh, there's a lot to talk about in this chapter, and we will talk about it right after this. Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Manga Man Drew, and I'm here to do my manga review for My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 331 titled America. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, yeah, this chapter pretty much embodies what America is. Strong women, action, and potentially using violence to solve all of our problems. Yeah, that sounds like America to me. So yeah, when it comes to this chapter of My Hero Academia, we once again continue the fight between Star and Stripe and Shigaraki, where we actually learn a little bit more about New Order and its possible limitations and restrictions. We get to see something amazing that Star and Stripe can do with New Order, as well as we get a really cool uh, nod to a specific franchise and potentially a very shocking reveal for what's going to be going on in next chapter. So yeah, before we get more into it, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't done so, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more manga and My Hero Academia content, I do the reviews, I do discussions, I cover the spoilers for My Hero Academia whenever they come out. So if that's something that you're interested in, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And with that out the way, let's get right into the review. So we actually start off the chapter how uh, we ended the last chapter with the big explosion of Shigaraki, which is confirmed that that explosion really did do something, not necessarily harming Star and Strife, but it really let this kid grow his hair out as Starstripe just comes to his realization like why did he grow out his hair all of a sudden and to explain that um yeah why did he grow out his hair Th that's not explained in this chapter we don't know but yeah he just grew his hair out maybe it's because it's like a reaction to the fact that he's been like in stasis for like four or so months maybe or maybe he was hiding all of that hair we just don't know it's not that big of a deal it's just funny that star and strike points that out but from there we pretty much just get a inner dialogue of how new order works from shigaraki's perspective as we see that he's standing on this jet and he's saying all right i think i understand what new order is and we do get a little bit more revealed about it Particularly, we get the spiel of what New Order does and how it's activated. You have to touch something, call out its name, and impose a New Order or New Rule upon it. But what we didn't know is the fact that this uh, a concept or this idea of New Order is pretty much kept secret from everyone in America, as we do see an image of the Pentagon in this chapter inferring that how New Order actually works when it comes to its limitations and restrictions may not be known to the public. Actually, it's confirmed that it's not known to the public. So as far as the public is like concerned, maybe Star and Stripe is just a super strong hero and they may not even know exactly how her quirk works. But Shigaraki, while he's fighting her head to head and, you know, didn't die immediately, has now figured out how her quirk kind of works and found out some limitations and restrictions. And to pretty much summarize what he did and said, because this is a lot of dialogue, very comparable to a uh, JoJo's fight now that I think about it. Yeah, no, New Order is basically not a quirk. It's a stand. And even in the chapter, when it comes to these translations, you have Shigaraki questioning, wow, this doesn't even seem like a quirk. And also New Order is is a band so yeah uh star and stripe has a, a stand uh confirmed in this chapter but now going into the actual restrictions and to summarize everything that shigaraki learned from new order uh he pretty much learned these for starters shigaraki and i'm gonna be calling him shigaraki because that's just easier learns that star and stripe has a limitation on how much she can power up herself because if she didn't, she could have powered herself up to a point where one flick from her could have killed Shigaraki. The second thing that Shigaraki learns in this fight is that she's able to freely impose rules on non-biological things. And it is ex explained why as another uh, limit or restriction is that the reason why she has greater control on non-biological things is because non-biological things don't have the capacity to go against their own name which leads into another restriction that she cannot or probably has a hard time using her power on a biological individual that she doesn't know the name of 
or believes that she knows the name of, which is different from how that organic organism identifies itself as. Which is the explanation that the reasoning why New Order doesn't work on Shigaraki is because Shigaraki himself doesn't know if he's Shigaraki Tomura, Tinko, or even all for one. And it's explained that it's all based off the perspective of the user using, it's all based on the perspective of the user, Star and Stripe using her new order, as well as the perspective of the biological organism. And non-biological organisms can't really question the names that are given to her, so it becomes one-sided from the perspective of Star and Stripe using her new order. And then we also have the other two restrictions which are based in her quirk of New Order, which is that she must touch something and call out its name, which she does do that in this chapter, but we never see her actually call out the names prior, meaning that if she calls out the name at least once during the fight, she can freely use it on that object whenever she wants because she already called out the name. This also means that if her mouth is shut or heavily damaged, she may not be able to use her quirk effectively because she she has to call out the name before she uses it at least once. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the restrictions and limitations that Shigaraki figures out about New Order. And some of these we as the readers could have figured out as well. So it's very interesting to see that connection and just tie more into the fact that this fight is less of a one-on-one -on -one brawl and more of like a strategic like realization of how to defeat the other, which is very similar to JoJo's. But then even after all that, Shigaraki is still thinking, wow, I really want to use that quirk for myself to find those limitations. I want it! As you just have Starstripe thinking to herself, how the heck is he even breathing up here? Oh gosh. I'm gonna be honest, from here on out, we get a lot of strong focus on Star and Stripe and her character. Uh, a lot of things happen after uh, Shigaraki figures out how New Order works. We get a strong focus on Star and Stripe as she is giving an order to the pilots to convey a message to uh, Commander Akbar. Which, yes, this is the Star Wars reference in My Hero Academia. Uh, go figure. Uh, yeah, we actually do get uh, revealed of who this character is later on at the end of this chapter. And it's exactly who you think it is. It's uh, Commander Akbar. It's, it's very on the nose. But yeah, uh, from here, we get a little bit, like I said, understanding of who Star and Stripe is as a character. And how she's really determined to not take down Shigaraki, but just straight up kill him. Where you even have the uh, pilots questions like are you sure about this we shouldn't be able to do this like are you sure this is the right decision and she's like yeah no at first he was just a threat to japan now he's a threat to the world now i have to kill him even if it means doing something that's illegal in japan so yes we get to see more of her determination and as she's saying this with her serious face she looks over to the pilots and just blows them a kiss and it's like come on just be my footholds all right my brother as we get a small flashback of this pilot that she's blowing a kiss to, remembering the first moments he met Star and Stripe as she's saying like, let's charge in together with you guys. Let's lay our lives on the line, my brothers. As this is very interesting because this is showing a little bit more character development for Star and Stripe, as well as these random pilots who are like, Huh, all right, let's do this, number one. You're such a handful. By the way, Shigaraki, get off of me. We are the foothold of Star and Stripe. So he sends Shigaraki flying off the plane onto his Nomu as we have once again Star and Stripe using a new way of using her new order quirk as she calls out the atmosphere or the air shall solidify and become a thousand times my size as she's about to fist bump the earth particularly Shigaraki as we get to see that she does solidify the air in her image and she is a giant woman <clears throat> I think it's very appropriate that I read a particular line of poetry during this moment. Just give me a moment. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. A giant woman. All I want to be is someone who gets to see a giant woman. All I want to do is help you turn into a giant woman. A giant woman. All I want to be is someone who gets to see a giant woman. Perfect poetry. So yeah, uh, this Star and Stripe giant woman PUNCHES SHIGARAKI IN THE AIR WITH HER GIANT FIST as Shigaraki just comes to the realization of I can't see anything, but I feel as if there's something there. So yeah, we pretty much get this moment of Star and Stripe 
punching Shigaraki at the same time the giant woman of herself punches Shigaraki, showing that she has full control of this solidified uh, figure of the air or the atmosphere as she's able to blow this Shigaraki and no move far away as she's also able to clap him to try and crush Shigaraki as we just see her clap the air clap at the same time as she's saying that i know this type of damage may seem meaningless but hey i'm gonna crush you to pieces anyway even if it means just stalling you and let's just say that at this moment we've already seen two double page spreads of some really intensive action and moments and it doesn't stop there because as soon as she does that clap she still isn't holding back and ask her brothers the pilots to fire the lasers at her and as they fire the lasers at her as we as i said she doesn't have to necessarily call laser again because she already called it but as the lasers are hitting her she says that harden and concentrate the lasers into one beam as we see that while she still has the atmosphere solidified while she's holding all of these lasers as one beam she calls out ultra high power unification laser and is aiming it at shigaraki and if we do go under the pretense that she can only use a new order on two things at a time at this moment she isn't super strong which means that her natural buffness is her physical strength which i mean we need more buff women not just in my hero academia but just in anime in general so yeah uh she uses this new attack which is called Coronas and just slams it right into Shigaraki as you have the pilots like oh wow did you defeat him is he gonna burn alive and you just have starts off with like no of course he's not gonna burn alive if this was powerful enough to actually kill him then Endeavor could have done it which means that Endeavor's fire is strong enough as strong as uh how many laser beams made up this one two three four five six seven okay Endeavor's fire is canonically more powerful or just as powerful as seven lasers good to know so yeah as she's doing this she's like yeah no we have to go in this guy is tough and as she's literally slamming this laser right into shigaraki and i think slamming him into the ocean itself or the earth itself with this laser you have commander akbar just saying star and she's like oh my gosh do you not know how much trouble you are in like you're selfish you're reckless oh this isn't gonna end with us just taking your license most likely implying that she may go to jail as you just have star say i don't care like we're literally fighting off this enemy i don't care have the preparations been done already as you just have akbar who looks like the character in the star wars movie you know that guy it's a trap He's saying like, yeah, we've already contacted Japan. They're on their way. As like, you just have Star just being smug saying, perfect. And she's like, huh. You know, Star, you don't abide by the rules. You're selfish and you're hasty. But dang it, if that's not the reason that makes our country shine, nothing does. As we get towards the end of the chapter, as we have Akbar or Star and Star thinking about how even All Might couldn't capture this villain. It's time for you to surpass him, Kathy. Also... Reveal that that is her name. Her actual name is Kathy, spelled with a C. Ew. But we get the reveal that what Star and Stripe asked Commander Akbar for was Timat, which are new model hypersonic intercontinental cruise missiles. As the chapter ends with that reveal, and uh, yeah, America is planning to bomb its problems. But the difference here is. Japan is bombing their problems by the orders of America. Okay, there's weird connotations that you can get from this. But yeah, overall, this was an amazing chapter for My Hero Academia. Not only was the action amazing, not only was there a lot of dialogue that really gave us a better understanding of how, uh, not necessarily overpowered, but the actual restrictions on Star and Stripe. The fact that she has to call out the name as well as touch someone, that is the baseline. But there are limitations to how much she can power herself up, not necessarily restrictions on what she can limit. And how Star and Stripe's perception of the biological being and how the biological being perceives their own perception of their name can cause New Order to not be effective. Meaning that in theory, if you do not believe that your name should be what it is, but Star and Stripe does believe it, then in theory, her new order won't work on you. 
So it's interesting to see a little bit more restriction to that, as well as showing the effectiveness of her quirk and just getting a quirk that really isn't a quirk. It is more akin to a JoJo stand, which is always a great thing. Also, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this enough, but literally in the chapter with Japan sending out missiles to bomb Shigaraki as well as getting a lot of character development for Star and Stripe. And let's just say she is literally rising the ranks of some of my favorite heroes. She's probably in the top five because I just love her so much. Her attitude, her personality, her literally wanting to kill someone because they're evil. Perfect. And something I forgot to mention is what's going to be going on next chapter. And I think pretty much is going to be straightforward. We're going to see what these uh, Tynamat missiles uh, will be able to do against Shigaraki. Uh, we may get the ending of this fight next chapter, or we may see more of Star and Stripe using New Order to try and take out Shigaraki. But I think that we've seen pretty much all that she can do with it. So either next chapter, uh, Tynamat will completely destroy Shigaraki, or most likely what's going to happen next chapter is that Shigaraki is going to attempt to to take new order and either is going to actually achieve doing that either do damage to star and stripe or star and stripe is going to find a way to uh, escape from shigaraki because at this moment even though new order is a great quirk it really doesn't have any effect on shigaraki who he is right now so i think that's most likely what's going to happen we're going to get the result of the tynamet missiles as well as continue the fight between shigaraki and new order with star and stripe but yeah, that's all I really have to say about this chapter. I thought this was a really good chapter, a lot of good action, a lot of good dialogue, and a lot of good characterization, as well as that cool reference to Commander Akbar from Star Wars. So yeah, hopefully you were able to enjoy this chapter. Hopefully you were able to enjoy this review. Leave your thoughts about this chapter in the comments down below. And let me just say this, do you like the fact that she was able to transform the air into a giant woman? Leave an answer for yes, or leave another answer for double yes. There are going to be no no's in my comments. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Leave a like on the video if you liked this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified for whenever I upload more content like this. Do all that cool jazz, and hopefully I'll be able to catch you in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>